The White House is making a renewed push for action on gun violence, with President Biden once again calling for a ban on assault weapons. The president made the plea last night, speaking at the 10th annual National Vigil for Victims of Gun Violence in Washington. The vigil has taken place every year since 2013. The call comes just a week before the country solemnly marks one decade since the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, where 26 people, including 20 kids, were killed. Since then, more than a million Americans have been killed by gun violence. For more on this, we are joined by NBC News White House correspondent Carol Lee. So, Carol, first, for some context here, I mean, President Biden was actually the first president to mm -hmm. attend this vigil. So what does make this year important and what is the president's overall message? Well, I think, Joe, what, for the White House's perspective, what makes this year important is that the president is addressing this annual vigil at a time when he had successfully passed for the first time in 30 years bipartisan gun legislation. And so that's seen as something that the White House really wants to promote and talk about. And at the same time, you have the president who's trying to push additional gun safety measures, particularly an assault weapons ban. And so this was an opportunity for him to talk about what he's done and talk about what he wants to do. And this is something that is very important to Democrats and very important to the president. And it's pers personally important for him. And so this was something that he wanted to do. And it, it was a good platform from the White House's perspective for him to talk about an issue that he would like the country to pay more attention to and for Congress to address. So, Carol, President, as you mentioned, he signed that Bipartisan Safer Communities Act into law back in June. That was in the wake of the tragedy in Uvalde. Democrats though, have wanted more action ever since then. So with Republicans about to take control of the House, then what's going to happen to this agenda with a divided Congress? Does it have any chance at all? Chances are pretty dim and, and just, you know, there was, a, there was a struggle to get more stringent gun measures passed with the, just a Democratic Congress. And so it's just going to get tougher uh, as, as Republicans take control of the House. The president, nonetheless, including in his remarks last night, was really pushing for this assault weapons ban. Take a listen. The attempt to ban assault weapons, a whole range of things that are just common sense. Just simple common sense. But you know, uh, we did it before. And we did it, and guess what? It worked. The number of violent mass murders reduced were significant. A lot of people's lives were saved. You know, uh, and we can do it again. One of the things that the president has said in recent weeks is that when he returned, when we returned from the Thanksgiving holiday, that he would start to count the votes in the Senate to see if there's a possibility to pass this assault weapons ban in the lame duck session. Now, the White House Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, was asked about that yesterday, whether he'd started to count those votes. And she really couldn't say and also said that he hasn't made a determination yet whether or not the votes are there. But again, chances are, are pretty slim that this is something that's going to get through. White House officials say, however, this is an issue that the president will continue to talk about and that he thinks it's important just to be having this conversation. I mean, Carol, outside of an assault weapons ban, is there any kind of gun safety legislation the White House is looking to push through? There is, and they have a whole plan that they've put out in terms of different measures that are designed to reduce gun violence. That plan, though, is not gaining much traction. Among those things is the assault weapons ban in particular, but also things like background checks and banning high-capacity magazines. But these are issues that have been around for some time, and it just remains to be seen whether or not Congress is going to do something about that. All right. Carol Lee, thanks so much for your reporting. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.